Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today I'm going to show you how to move your mod folder in Farming Simulator 19. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, so the goal of this, if you are like me, um, well let's just, let's just cover a couple of things here. Let me show you a couple of things I want to go over. So um, let me go to... Let me show you this here real quick. So this is my basically my file here. If you look at my C drive, which is where Farming Simulator runs off of and is normally installed. I've tried to even install it to the D drive and it wouldn't let me do that. Um, it just kept reinstalling it over here, regardless of what I did with Steam. But anyhow, so typically on the C drive, you have very limited space. So um, this is everyone's default drive normally on at least PC. Uh, so as you can see here, I don't have very much space, but over here, this one's a 931 gigabyte drive, which I have a lot of videos recorded. That's where I do all my work on, basically. And there's 240, 14 gigabytes free versus 4.9. So I don't have any mods installed right now, and I don't. I have way far more than 4.9 gigabytes of mods, and some of you have far more than that. So if you go into the C drive, um, so under C drive, I'm just going to do it this way to help out. Uh, so once you click into here, we're under this PC, um, under the C drive, the documents are included on there. So it's easier to find them if you go under documents by scrolling down, which is just uh, having that down there so you can find it under there. So down here under documents, you'll find my games. If I select my games, All right now I just have Farming Simulator in there. You might have other ones. Then if I select into here, in here, your, your mods folder is located. So this is where your mods folder is normally located. So we're gonna move this so the game, when it loads up, it reads it off of the D drive. We're gonna move it to the D drive. So first, there's no mods in here, so I could just delete this folder and put it somewhere else. But um, let's open up the D drive here. Um, so yeah, here's where my D drive is. Let's go ahead and paste it here. So mods are there now. They're located in the D drive. Um, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go back down here to the C drive. Um, since we we want to use this we're going to work with this here i'm actually going to expand this out a little bit um, so um, this is all the files for uh, farming simulator 19. so what we're going to do uh, we're going to go into the game settings xml so this one right here uh, we're going to open it with i um, mean there's other ones that are easier to use this is just the a default way to do it um, i'm going to open it with uh, notepad um, so you're going to get this uh, this this uh, box pop up right here now, somewhere on here, so here we go, mods, directory, override, active, false, uh, C. So we're gonna make, we're gonna change this around. So this is what we actually need this to say. We're just gonna change a couple things. First, uh, we're gonna do mods directory set to true, which means it's gonna send it somewhere else. Now, right now it's sending it to here, but we're gonna change that. So we're gonna backspace this out of here, leave everything else in here, type in D, and then you're gonna do a colon, and then you're gonna do a uh, forward slash, that's forward slash, yeah, forward slash, and then type in M-O-D-S, because that's where the file is, and again, you can change it to whatever it is, and that's what you need to do right there. So right there, the, that should that should run the mods folder off of there, Then we're gonna hit uh, file, save, so it overwrites it, don't hit save as and save a new file, save it, so that way it overrides that previous file, um, and there we go, so that shouldn't have, I don't think this has anything, <laughs> about my personal information on here. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, it just says Farmer Cop there, which is the name I have in there. Um, okay, perfect. So we'll X that out. Now, if we actually, uh, let me close this out here. Um, so I have, so that's where the mods folder is now. Now um, I should have, if I go, oh, I moved them, that's right. Let me go get my mods out of here. Steam apps, because I tried, I tried this earlier. So I've been playing with this for a couple hours, trying to figure this out. So here's all my mods. I keep them in different folders to kind of help uh, simplify it so let me move these back to my d drive here now it's not going to read them out of these um i do this to help keep it simplified for me but these are the mods i want in there so obviously right here if i select all my mods that i normally use i have 573 um, so i'm going to cut those new volume d put them in the mods folder here and we're going to go ahead and see and that was obviously quite a bit of mods there so um, if i go out of here it should tell me how many gigabytes that is 19 gigabytes so that wasn't going to fit in the 4.9 space that we had so now that that's all set up there um, we can close out of this and we should be able to launch farming simulator if i can get it opened up here sorry guys i put in a cut there so i don't know what i'm going to cut and how i'm going to connect that but uh, here we are in game so it took i will be honest it took about four times as long to load up the game so it probably took it about a minute or two to load the game up for me uh which is uh quite a bit longer maybe even like eight times longer i think it always takes like what 15 seconds for me to load up the game uh so it did do that but we go into mods we had no mods installed other than what we had in our folder and look at this all the mods installed here are all my mods they're all in here 
Um, so it did work. So it works. So yeah, if you're looking for just a way to save some space, uh, that might be a good way to go about it. So definitely recommend that if that's something that would work well for you. Um, yeah, definitely do that. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.